My name is Michael Elvey and I'm a consultant hand and orthopaedic surgeon here at the Hospital of St. John's and St. Elizabeth's. I developed an interest in hand surgery during training as it's a fairly unique combination of both orthopaedic and plastic surgery. It also gives me an unparalleled variety of conditions to treat such as trauma in the form of fractures, tendon and ligament injuries, as well as elective conditions such as arthritis and carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a common condition of the hand caused by pressure on one of the main nerves of the hand as it enters the palm. This nerve, which is called the median nerve, is responsible for providing feeling to the majority of the hand, particularly the thumb side, as well as the muscles uh, of the base of the thumb. In the majority of cases, we don't know why this occurs, but there are some conditions where it occurs more frequently, such as diabetes, pregnancy, and low thyroid conditions. The typical symptoms that patients will experience with carpal tunnel will be numbness and pins and needles in the hand. This will typically happen on fixed gripping activities, such as driving a car, holding a phone, but can also occur at night, often resulting in patients waking up and having to shake their hands out. In the more severe condition, it can be a constant problem and patients can notice a weakness of their hand and they might drop items during the day. When you come for your initial clinic consultation, a history will be taken to make sure you have the classic symptoms. We'll perform a clinical examination to make sure the problem is isolated in the hand and make sure the nerve is not trapped higher up, as can happen with shoulder arthritis and even neck arthritis. In certain circumstances, we'll use a nerve test, which will be done as a separate appointment, but this is not always required. When symptoms are mild and short-lived, we'll try simple non-operative measures such as splinting, and this will be at night time only, physical therapy exercises, and occasionally an injection, which can help us not just to diagnose, but can help with your symptoms. As the condition progresses, or when it is chronic or more severe, we may recommend going directly to definitive treatment, which is a small operation. This is a day case local anesthetic procedure. You'll come to the operating theater where we'll put a small injection in the hand to numb the skin, We'll make a small incision of about three centimeters in the palm itself, free up the nerve and close up the skin with a few stitches. You'll leave the hospital the same day with a small plaster and a big bandage with your fingers free. We'll ask you to take the bandage down after three days and the plaster will stay on for two weeks until you come back to clinic to have your stitches taken out. You'll be able to drive a car at roughly a week. You'll be back to the majority of activities within four to six weeks and a full recovery on average takes three months, but in the most severe circumstances where numbness has been constant before surgery, it may take up to a full year before you understand the final outcome of surgery. If you do think you have carpal tunnel syndrome, please do come and see us here at St. John and Elizabeth's at the hand and wrist unit, where we'd be delighted to treat carpal tunnel syndrome or any other hand and wrist conditions you may think that you have.